there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we have more TGIF fallout, you guys. We, we have receipts uh, because I was, you know, uh, about to go to bed. And then uh, Sean... From, who works with uh, Al Reynolds, who's spoken out a few times on his behalf. Uh, some people call him his mouthpiece. We're going to get into his comments about all of the drama and all the chaos and the tea that he spilled a little bit later in this video, but we have some housekeeping things to get to. Uh, so my last video that I uploaded was in regards to Funky Dineva's response to Armand Wiggins' live, and then he did another live on his Instagram basically saying I don't know why everybody's dragging me I didn't know anything about no investigation and could somebody give me a call and, and let me know what's what right so in the middle of your screen is the text message uh, in which there was an exchange between Armand and Funky Dineva uh, we can see the end of the screen grab is a link to Claudia Jordan's Instagram for whatever reason I'm guessing in regards to some particular post of some sort and so then the message says, um, you know, uh, and this is from um, Funky Dineva. It says, when you get to a place where you are settled enough in your spirit, we should talk. And then Armand responds, I'm going to call you. Someone just sent me your video. I'm cracking up. And uh, and this is interesting for a multitude of reasons, you guys. Um, and, and this is posted as a combined post of Armand and Funky Dineva's, right? Because Armand just said on his video the other day that he was not fooling with Funky Dineva, he was not going to acknowledge Funky Dineva, he was not going to respond to Funky Dineva and all of these things but now it seems like now they're going to provide us content, you guys of some sort, either they're going to relay on their platforms the conversation or they're going to do a live with the both of them on there together to spill tea and then Jerome uh, Mr. Jerome um, Trammell who's been talked about a lot in this TGIF uh, debacle has been in Funky Dineva's comments which Sean has also talked about as well and it says the following it says uh, in regards to Funky Dineva you definitely got swept up in the lies that's what I was trying to tell you do part one on your channel and then part two on his with some clapping emojis and a heart emoji you guys uh, so what he is referencing was in the video uh, that Funky Dineva did on Instagram live Funky Dineva said he felt like Portia uh, and it felt like he was referencing when Portia uh, you know felt duped by Phaedra regarding the R.A.P.E. gate of uh, the infamous season 9 and, and all the things that fell apart at the reunion and Portia had this realization that uh, you know Phaedra set her up and, and all of these things and put this on um, you know the show uh, but nonetheless Portia's later admitted that she knew this all along but but that's neither here nor there so I don't know um, in regards to that like if Funky Dineva just feels like he's been set up some people were speculating that he feels set up by Al Reynolds, but uh, I think your other buddy that you did the interview with set you up. And speaking of the buddy, you guys, which brings me to my other screenshot, right? So, uh, Carlos King is messy, messy boots, and is wanting to capitalize off of all of the drama and is wanting to eat off of all of the scandal, you guys. And so nonetheless, uh, he has, uh, I believe the video of the interview um, almost has 300,000 views. And then he has clipped out specifically the portion about TGIF and the drama surrounding that. Uh, he specifically clipped that out, the 19, 20 minutes or so footage of that to also eat and monetize off of that video. Now, in conjunction with that, before I get into uh, the meat and potatoes of what Sean said, the one thing that I do agree with him that Sean pointed out that he had an issue with Carlos King, he said, um, and, and this is something that I am surprised more people have not spoken out about, especially people who have been on YouTube, you know, for a lot longer than myself. Um, and so essentially he said that um, he feels that Carlos is messy, which we all agree about, right? 
Uh, and basically that Carlos King is making a ton of money off of all of the chaos, all the drama, which we know. And uh, he feels as though, this is coming from Sean, he feels as though Carlos King is taking food out of other YouTubers' mouths by basically using his connections to these reality stars and these celebrities to bully people to push a certain narrative because he has those connections and that following. And look, he has almost 300,000 subscribers in a very short period of time, right? And so he knows all of the girls. He, um, you know, knows everything. And then it's this situation is messy too because he's friends with Claudia. He already did an interview with her. He's obviously friends with Funky Dineva, did an interview with him. I don't know the extent of his relationship with Al Reynolds, if he's friends with him too or not. But nonetheless, I... Uh, Carlos King is going to get in where he fits in, but the problem is, uh, he's also eating off of several YouTubers, uh, you know, bread and butter, uh, by inserting himself into all of the reality TV mess as well, and the issue at hand is because of the connections that he has and for how long that he has been doing this, uh, in the proximity of the Real Housewives and now in the, uh, own sector with, uh, the Love and Marriage Hunts and, and other franchises and Bell Collective and all the things is he's basically utilizing his influence and his connections to put out whatever narrative he wants. Now, the problem with that is if, is if it's a false narrative or if it's a narrative that's very destructive or damaging, uh, that is where things fall apart, right? And, and then the smaller YouTubers like myself, we're trying to work hard to show you guys the truth and, and tell you guys what is what and, and show you how detrimental this is and how problematic it is. But the problem is the larger some of these platforms have it is just like how you know 45 pushed fake news that if enough people on the larger platforms believe the lies or believe whatever narrative you're trying to push to bully people into believing certain facts or alternative facts uh then the majority of people are going to rock with it because they're going to be like well he's got connections he's worked with real housewives he's worked with x y and z so so why would we ever think that he's lying to us or, or trying to scam us right so, so that was that. So that is the context of all of the screenshots. And so what we want to get into now, I want to shout out YouTuber AT2 uh, because I was just perusing around, you know, was about to go to bed. And uh, then Sean popped up, you guys. Sean popped up on AT2's live and uh, he came up from the chat and all the things. And um, there were some audio and video issues at first, but I've got all the tea that he is revealed and so essentially he wanted to basically defend Al Reynolds like we're gonna keep it a book uh, he, he's been on other platforms he's been in other chats uh, on Al Reynolds behalf and, and so we're gonna talk about it so he said that he does not understand why people are talking about Joyce um, you know as if she is some type of youtuber or as if she's some type of reality star he said she's respected in the industry. She's a three-time Emmy Award winner and has worked on network shows. And I believe Sean has also said that he also has a working relationship in history with her and also worked with her um, and worked on ABC with the TV show Modern Family, right? And so uh, basically um, he wanted to tr provide some context with all of the drama, right? And so he is saying, consider the history and reputation of all the parties involved in particular Armand and Claudia Jordan right uh so I wanted to talk about you know Claudia's history with the foxhole and falling out with Jamie Foxx wanted to talk about the history with Ricky Smiley wanted to talk about you know and now Fox Soul and you know considering her reputation wants to talk about Armand Wiggins how he fell out with Jason Lee and Cardi B and Tasha K consider the reputations but also if we're going in that same angle what about Funky Dineva what what about, you know, uh, the shows that he was on, you guys, uh, as well? You know, he also has had some, you know, falling outs as well uh, and things that didn't go well. 
Uh, so, so how is he exempt, right? Uh, everybody has had some messy uh, connections and messy endings uh, to some of these opportunities and connections that have presented themselves. It's not just exclusive to Claudia. And the biggest messy thing now, as far as Al Reynolds, as far as I'm concerned, is number one, uh, basically, and even Sean confirms this, is that essentially Star Jones feels duped by Al Reynolds and uh, his sexuality, right? And so, and with that, and, and I don't know why Sean's not speaking to this, but now Al Reynolds' reputation also is in question because there is receipts to prove that Al Reynolds is messy too that Al Reynolds is two-faced too. No matter how much experience and things that he has in the industry, and Sean wanted to make it a note that, uh, and make it a point to say a few times in uh, this impromptu interview that uh, Al Reynolds is still working for Fox. And that he has been featured on, um, I believe, Fox in D.C. Uh, doing some correspondent things and doing some things at the White House and all of these things. Wanted to make it known that he still has a job. And uh, Armand and Claudia do not. Uh, so, nonetheless, that was that. Uh, he claims that Al Reynolds is paying attention to all the drama, but doesn't want to say anything, but then says he's not aware of the drama because the internet is not working in Belize, supposedly, but seemed to manage to call Sean in the midst of the tea spilling he was doing in this particular uh, interview, in this live, uh, to tell him to shut it up. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, Al Reynolds is very much aware, right, of what's happening. So Sean tries to say that um, Al Reynolds is not concerned about any of this drama, any of this chaos, that he is trying to open up a women's and children's 250 bed center. And that that is what um, Sean is in partnership with Al Reynolds about currently. And that's what he cares about, right? But he does confirm that what we've all been saying, that all parties involved are, are messy boots, right? Uh, essentially, uh, he said on Al's behalf that Al was upset because Al had expectations that he feels were not fulfilled and, and thought that this was going to be a professional environment and that people were going to act accordingly. And so then he said also that Joyce tried to run, you know, Fox Soul and tried to run TGIF like she is done at the networks who are established, who are professional, who have, you know, certain protocols and policies and procedures in place. And the issue is you're dealing with YouTubers and reality stars who are not coming from that type of a background where there's structure and there's rules and things to abide by and there's compliance and there's HR and there's all these things, right? So nonetheless, uh, when she tries tried to bring some of that over, uh, these people weren't trying to have it. And then also, uh, Sean comes for Jerome um, as well, who uh, you see in the screenshot that's in Funky Dineva's comments. He wanted to make it a note that there were several other comments apparently Jerome has been making on Funky Dineva's page that are mysteriously getting deleted, apparently, but basically said that he got fired by Fox Soul, uh, then he got rehired and got his job back, and basically he went to HR. Everybody's going to HR at, at Fox Soul, you guys. Went to HR. Um, because essentially what happened was uh, Justin Hart tried to book Angela Ross for Women's History Month and, uh, you know, essentially Justin had, you know, pushed back on this and HR, uh, you know, blew up on all of this and, and mentioned the HR lady named Regina. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, it was just a pushback back and forth between Justin and Jerome regarding booking this particular guest. And nonetheless, and so uh, he says that also Sean says everybody is clowns, everybody's doing clownery, everybody is fighting, everybody is all employed while Al is in Belize still doing correspondence for uh, Fox. And then also, um, you know, said that uh, he feels that even the receipts that Armand has dropped and that even Claudia has previously alluded to and or dropped, he said it still doesn't tell the full context. And according to Sean, he has the full context of all these conversation. According to Sean, he has all of the emails and all of these receipts and said that Armand's receipts were only in the lens of March 17th and 18th. And he said he 
even Claudia's had receipts like that too, where it's like, hey, I need to call you. There's some tea I need to spill. There's something important I need to say, but it doesn't say in those text messages what the actual tea is. But then when you get on the phone, it's like, oh yeah, the tea is that Al was talking bleep about you, right? Behind your back. So nonetheless, that is what he's trying to convey that the receipts don't really contain anything that's too damaging. But to me, it, it shows that Al's still messy. The, the Al's two-faced. That's that's what the messages show, right? Whether it explicitly says, hey, we're going to get Claudia Jordan fired tomorrow or, or not, it's messy enough to where you can read between the lines that obviously uh, there was plans and a plot in place to undermine Claudia Jordan, which Funky Dineva and Armand Wiggins have both confirmed. So nonetheless, uh, what other receipts do you need when Funky Dineva himself has admitted this as well as Armand, right? So nonetheless, with that being said as well, he knows that uh, people are going to say about Sean that he's Al's mouthpiece and all of that, but he said that he has a right to defend his friend. If everybody else is coming out and trying to defend himself, themselves, he feels that Armand and uh, Claudia Jordan are trying to save their reputations, uh, so therefore that's why they have come out, although technically Claudia has not come out and done like an official interview or official video since the Funky Dineva interview with Carlos King and since Armand Wiggins thing, other than her calling into his life to, um, you know, basically back him up and, and give him uh, some kudos and, and drag Al Reynolds further as well. Uh, so basically, with that being said, this Sean uh, gentleman feels as though he has nothing to lose to try to expose Claudia Jordan. It, 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 this, and see, here's the thing, you guys. Like I keep saying, I'm team nobody because everybody has been messy in this situation in one way or the other. But this is a Another example how certain people on all sides of this, they all have certain people that are going to bat for them. And in this case, it's Sean going back to bat for Al. Now, what I don't understand is, you know, again, saying that you're concerned about Al Reynolds not defending himself, but you said that Al Reynolds is very much uh, involved in YouTube and is aware of what all of these YouTubers are saying about all of the latest drama that pertains to TGIF. However, he will not come out and defend himself. According to you, he's saying he quote unquote doesn't care about that. But if somebody is maligning my name, if somebody is destroying my reputation and my credibility in these streets, and you also have a YouTube channel and a platform that you're trying to run a different type of show that was on Fox Soul, that was different from TGIF, that is more structured, more professional, and you know about the legal system and analyzing certain court cases, wouldn't you want to get in front of it and say, listen, what X, Y, and Z is saying, you don't have the full story this is a lie. I'm not this messy person. I'm very professional, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like the fact that Al has said nothing this entire time, it's giving some truth to what has been presented as far as I'm concerned, right? Because if you have a YouTube and you have a platform to where you can speak your truth and, and speak defend yourself at any point in time. Nobody's saying that you need to do 20 videos uh, analyzing every single thing that Armand and Funky Dineva and Claudia Jordan has said, but the fact that you haven't even done one video to defend yourself it is very odd, right? And you can say that that's not who you are, but you were on a messy show that was about celebrity news and gossip and reality TV news and gossip. Uh, so, so you're very much familiar in that sector and the YouTubers that do reviews and commentary in that sector. So I don't understand if none of this is true at all, why you wouldn't even just defend yourself in any capacity. The only thing that you did is you did that one teaser to make it seem like you were going to do a response and you were going to acknowledge all of the things that was being said and give quote unquote your side of things, except for it was clickbait. Except for it was clickbait and it was for you to promote your platform and promote this uh, court of public opinion show. 
So nonetheless, uh, you know, he said out of everyone from his conversations, from Sean's conversations with Al Reynolds, the only person that he may potentially respond to is Funky Dineva. Uh, but as far as everybody else, uh, he could care less about, uh, feels as though, you know, essentially it's a waste of time. Uh, he's all about his reputation and work history. Uh, but basically he said as well that he wouldn't know if Funky Dineva turned on him or not because he said that he wouldn't know, but you just said previously that he is very much aware of everything that's happening currently on YouTube and even called you in the midst of this. So, so you're aware of something you're aware, but you just don't want to say anything. Right. And so then the question was asked, you know, what, what was happening? Was this ever going to be a situation with all this drama, all this rumors about these HR complaints and all of the things, was there ever going to be an opportunity to try to work things out before they just ultimately put the kibosh? on TGIF, right? And so nonetheless, uh, what was revealed was both Joyce and Dar were supposed to have uh, Claudia, uh, Armand, and, uh, you know, Al Reynolds all were supposed to be out in Houston on site to have an in-person powwow to lay out all the issues on the table, to try to work all this out and try to get everything back on track. And then unfortunately, the roast happened in the midst of this and that put the kibosh on anything because at that point, Al Reynolds was checked out. Al Reynolds was done. But basically, uh, some other tea that was spilled as well uh, was that essentially the three HR complaints was ultimately what did the show it did the show in. We had the um, you know the Jerome and Justin HR complaint was one, and then another complaint was of course regarding what happened with the roast. That was the first and only time apparently Al Reynolds had you know went to HR to complain about something, and that was in regards to the roast that Armand Wiggins did for his birthday now the third hr complaint uh is an interesting piece because this is where uh sean reveals that claudia jordan has complained to hr apparently about armand wiggins that he she felt threatened uh that she felt that uh he was not a good fit for the show didn't like women she didn't feel safe with armand wiggins as around and all the things and uh sean keeps saying that uh claudia jordan uses her white woman tears and karen tears to try to uh, get things that she wants um, and uh, essentially he said uh, Sean said that it was Al Reynolds who was the main one who was going to bat hardcore for Armand Wiggins and didn't want to see a situation uh, with all the stuff that Claudia allegedly was doing according to Sean didn't want to see a black man's reputation stained or negative or, or any of these things, right? And basically said that Claudia Jordan had went to HR at least two or three times in trying to get rid of Armand and, and trying to get him out of here, right? Uh, but it's interesting as well because Sean is framing this as that, you know, Al's upstanding, Al's professional, Al's this and that, but all of these people gossiped about each other. That, that is the thing. You, Al has gossiped at least, you know, about Claudia Jordan to at least Funky Dineva and to Armand Wiggins. And of course the infamous screenshot between him and Nini and whoever else was a part of that group chat in which they were gossiping about Claudia Jordan. So, so nobody is innocent, right? But nonetheless, like I said, uh, there was supposed to be a Zoom call to resolve all of this. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, you know, what happened with this whole Justin and Armand allegedly sleeping around rumor, right? Because Sean provides context to this. And it's funny because he keeps doing these little droplets and saying, oh, I don't want to get in trouble or I might get in trouble for this or I shouldn't expose this or whatever, right? So I guess before one of the Zoom calls that uh, the everybody had involved for TJF, uh, I guess uh, Al Reynolds casually meant, uh, um, you know, mentions, and I don't know why he mentioned this casually in front of other professionals, uh, that uh, Armand and Justin hang out and go on a few dates. I don't know if it was like tongue in cheek or like jokey joke or whatever. And so then what happened was a couple of days after that, there was a Zoom call and he is alleging that this was part of, you know, Claudia's complaints against Armand and basically said to Joyce and other executives that 
Armand only got the job because allegedly, quote unquote, Justin and Armand are sleeping around and they have an inappropriate relationship. So then that's when Joyce, who again is esteemed of reputation, three time Emmy Award winner from network television, is meeting now with Armand and Claudia to get to the bottom of this. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Sean says that, you know, Claudia records everything and everything else and records this meeting. And so essentially, uh, you know, Joyce is asking Armand, she's like, listen, I heard the other day from Claudia Jordan that there's some type of inappropriate relationship that you have with Justin. And Sean said at that point, uh, Armand lost it. Armand went off and, and was uh, dragging, cussing people out, trying to get to the bottom of what was going on. Armand had then asked Claudia Jordan, in. okay who said that i had some type of sexual or inappropriate relationship with justin allegedly who was telling you these things and that is when claudia jordan said that it was al reynolds and then sean said at that point that was when al and armand wiggins fell out with each other and were no longer cool and apparently according to sean Al did try to reach out to Armand Wiggins a few times to apologize and to try to give his side of things and to say that his comment was taken out of context and was escalated and elevated to something that it was not, um, that would ultimately be utilized against Armand. Uh, but Armand just wasn't hearing it at that point. Armand ignored the attempts to try to work that out. And, uh, you know, and then Sean tries to say that this is when, quote unquote, Claudia Jordan swooped in, that Claudia Jordan, um, you know, used Armand, used the situation to try to get um, on Armand's good side and then team up against Al Reynolds. And then um, also as well, he feels that Claudia, quote unquote, used her celebrity to basically gas up Armand and have Armand feel confident enough to make threats towards Al Reynolds, right? And so then, of course, then talks about as well how alleges how Claudia is messy too, how, you know, not, a, you know, everybody can have these screenshots and receipts, but Claudia Jordan is very much messy too with screenshots and things um, and painting a certain narrative, right? And so then um, also Sean goes into, uh, you know, how he it has come to be, said that he has been a writer for Fox Soul and talks about, again, his relationship with Joyce uh, and his work with Modern Family and all that. So then um, he feels as well, you know, that Al needs to come out and just give his side and just drop his receipts. But, um, and then the question was asked, well, is Al suing, right? It, it, but, and so then Sean basically said, well, you've got to read between the lines, right? And nonetheless, uh, he was even suggesting, Sean was, that Al Reynolds send a cease and desist to Armand and Claudia to stop talking about him, to stop trying to smear his name and all of these other things, right? And so Al Reynolds, as you know, he's an attorney, uh, you know, said, you know, it would be a waste of time to send them a cease and desist, right? Because they're going to turn that into content. They're going to use that for clicks and views on their platforms, right? To make it seem as though, you know, uh, I'm trying to shut them up. I'm trying to make it seem like there's something out there that I don't want them to reveal. And it's going to be a back and forth. And then all of the other blogs are going to pick it up and it's going to be, you know, tabloid fodder, right? So nonetheless, he said he doesn't want to waste time on that and, and try to give them more opportunities to gain clout and attention, right? So then ultimately, like I said, as far as the attempts to try to resolve all of this chaos, all of this drama uh, with initially the two HR complaints in Houston uh, prior to what happened with the roast, uh, you know, it got essentially postponed once that roast happened and once Al Reynolds, you know, put in that complaint and all of the things. So nonetheless, there was an opportunity for this show to still come back. 
but by the time Armand, you know, had heard the rumors about him and Justin allegedly having some type of inappropriate relationship, and that was the only reason he got the job, and not based off of his merit or anything else, and then of course we have the Funky Dineva angle in which he was going to bat for Armand Wiggins to get the job, but it was more so in regards to be anti-Claudia Jordan because he knew that Claudia Jordan didn't like Armand Wiggins out of all of the talent that was interviewing and um, doing guest hosting spots for this show so nonetheless uh you know there's more receipts that sean apparently has uh, and basically the question was asked you know when, when are you going to really fully expose you know what you truly have of the receipts that you really feel is going to shut things down for good and he said it's going to depend on claudia jordan it's going to depend on what her next move is if and when she does a major interview just letting everything out in the event claudia jordan does that or something else happens such as a lawsuit or whatever uh depends on what happens uh will depend on whether or not he releases anything right and so then said um you know the issue that he has with claudia jordan that sean has with claudia jordan is in regards to al reynolds show court of public opinion which him and sean worked on right Right? that's currently airing on his YouTube. So apparently he is alleging that Claudia Jordan brought the show in an episode of TGIF, but more importantly, behind the scenes was pitching this court of a public opinion to executives at Fox Soul uh, and excluded Sean and Al Reynolds out of it to make it seem like it was Claudia Jordan's idea. Now, this is interesting tea considering the alleged tea is that this uh, TGIF was originally Nini's idea. And that this got, you know, however, you know, Claudia Jordan found out about this being Nini's idea. Uh, and then she went ahead and pitched uh, TGIF to Fox Soul. And allegedly the rest is history, right? Because she was already friends at the time with Al Reynolds, with Funky Dineva. And they had a good time at the wedding, at Cynthia's wedding uh, to Mike Hill. So nonetheless, it's just this is the second time that there has been a rumor that Claudia Jordan has alleged stole somebody else's show idea and tried to present it as herself and so Sean had an issue with this because he's basically saying this is our intellectual property this is me and Al Reynolds intellectual property and you're trying to go back behind our backs and present it as yourself as your own so that is when he fell out with uh, Claudia Jordan because he felt this is you know backhanded this is inappropriate and all of the things Next, uh, he also wanted to talk about, those of you who are Big Brother fans, Xavier Prather, who won the cookout season of Big Brother. And uh, he said that essentially, you know, again, one of the attorneys, he also has a good reputation, also has a good rapport. He first was on, you know, Fox Soul and TGIF, and um, he had appeared as well on the Court of Public Opinion but basically said that he's not on the show right now is not on the court of public opinion because he has another reality show that's coming out um i believe next week on usa and basically said whenever xavier signs up for these reality tv shows uh within these contracts you have a non-compete clause right and, and sometimes it could be six months a year or two years uh to where you're not allowed to be on any type of other network and since technically al reynolds still is with uh fox in in you know whatever capacity that would be a conflict of interest uh, since Xavier currently is going to be um, having a show premiere on a different network. But nonetheless, he said that when the non-compete expires for Xavier Prather, that he will be back on the court of public opinion. So, so that was that, um, you know, and then, um, the question was asked whether or not Claudia Jordan was confronted about, you know, trying to steal the court of public opinion and present it as her own and, and all of the things. But, uh, you know, again, uh, he said that Claudia Jordan, you know, did her own little, you know, interpretation and tried to make it seem like it wasn't what it was and, and all of the things. Uh, but then it was interesting as well, because then Claudia said, well, you know, and he brought up, Sean brought up how, uh, 
Al Reynolds got in trouble because he was promoting his YouTube and was promoting this court of public opinion show. And uh, essentially, it got to a point where there was some complaint and Al Reynolds was no longer allowed to promote his YouTube platform or promote this show. So, um, so that was essentially everything that I felt, you know, was, um, pertinent. The only last couple of things was in regards to, uh, Sean lives out in LA, said that he is very close to the loft that Armand has converted to a studio to do his YouTube videos. Also feels that Armand is the true victim in all of this situation. Um, you know, and this is also around the time that Al Reynolds had supposedly called as well. Uh, Sean said that he feels very bad for Armand Wiggins. Uh, he also said that the reason that he doesn't mind dropping receipts, and this is the same reason why Al is ignoring them, is that they both feel that Claudia Jordan and Armand Wiggins are not their peers. They don't have respect for them. They feel as though they're on a lower tier they're on a lower level and unless it was an executive or somebody with influence and power such as Joyce such as Jart and all these other people that then Al would actually feel compelled to respond but since it is Claudia and Armand uh, Al doesn't see them himself on the same level as them he sees himself and, and Sean said this as well that Al Reynolds sees himself as an elitist that he sees himself above everybody because he's educated, he has his PhD, he's a professor, and all of the things. So he feels that, you know, he's not going to get down in the dumps with Claudia Jordan or uh, Armand Wiggins because he feels that he is above them. So nonetheless, uh, that also, you know, was why I think Sean doesn't feel like anything's going to happen to him because he has that relationship still with Al Reynolds and still has a good relationship with Joyce because Joyce obviously is not seeing all of this YouTube stuff and all of the drama. So nonetheless, um, he did say as well that Al feels dumb for defending Armand Wiggins. He feels stupid and all of these things, trying to go hard in the paint for Armand Wiggins, trying to defend him and all of these things. But he said, essentially now, Al is completely checked out. Al is completely done. He said that there are other people who have been talking since June 15th that are not named Al Reynolds. However, I would argue that uh, you're speaking on Al's behalf though right? You're, you're regurgitating things that you personally know about Al Reynolds that you're going to present that's going to defend him, essentially, and make him look good, right? So, nonetheless, uh, the other piece as well was, um, you know, the people who have offered, I guess, interviews. So, apparently, Carlos King and allegedly Tasha Kay have offered, you know, to do interviews with uh, at least Sean and possibly Al Reynolds as well to try to get their side, to try to get their team uh, and apparently Tasha K is paying more than a thousand dollars to fly these people out uh, to do these exclusive interviews so so Tasha k has got all this money and, and does she is the payment plan for the four million to Cardi B still in the works or is that still happening because how do you have thousands of dollars to fly out these people for interviews but Sean said the reason that he has no intentions of doing this is because he knows that if the interview does not go the way Tasha K wants it to go or if if he doesn't spill enough tea or spills the tea in the way that Tasha K can really promote the interview and, and make it very salacious and juicy, that he said he doesn't want a situation where all of his inter information that he's basically doxed out on the internet, that you know his car lease, that you know where he lives, his property information, you know whether or not he's had any type of a rap sheet of sorts and any type of court cases, that all of that information is going to be exposed allegedly in the event something does not go right with the Tasha K interview or alleges that one of her winos may not see it for him and try to dig up his past or dig up anything that could potentially be damaging against him and used against him to drag him. So that is essentially that. This is a long video, oh my gosh. But I wanted to give an update on where we stand. So at some point, uh, Funky Dineva and, uh, you know, Armand are going to have a powwow, are going to, you know, you know, get all of the information out there, get all of the sites out there. Uh, I still feel kind of the way that Funky Dineva is careful of what he is and isn't saying, that he obviously knows a lot more than he's letting on. 
And part of the reason he's not going in on Al Reynolds, because some of the claims, some of the accusations, I feel, uh, he did the same, allegedly, as it pertained to being against Claudia Jordan, because like I said, he's admitted that he has tried to, you know, essentially go to bat for Armand to get rid of Claudia to make sure that if he was on the show, that if he got the job, that the goal, the, the plan was for him and uh, Al Reynolds to go against Claudia Jordan and gang up on her and try to get her out. Now, the question is, are you trying to do this so that you and um, Al Reynolds could just be the duo? Or did you have somebody else in mind that you wanted to replace Claudia Jordan as the co-host, such as a Dr. Heavenly or a Nene Leaks or what have you, uh, that you would have preferred uh, over Claudia Jordan? But it's just interesting, like I said, these people who want to try to overthrow the people that give them these opportunities, that recommend them for these shows, now all of a sudden you want to throw them under the bus, you want to try to get them fired, and in all of these attempts and in, in, in all of the drama with the production people and the people behind the scenes, uh, all of these complaints, basically, the HR complaints, the third ultimate HR complaint was what did the show in because they were over it they were over the chaos the drama the lies the rumors and all of the things but basically sean wanted to conclude that it's al reynolds who still has a job at fox and is still booked and busy regardless and he feels that is why claudia and armand wiggins are really mad uh so nonetheless there's that please let me know what you guys think in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.